In this video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite coverage in Madden 22 and how you can utilize it to absolutely shut down the majority of what most people of the best tri trips tight end players in the world want to accomplish whenever you play them. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And guys, we are talking about the nickel 335 odd out of the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook today. We're gonna be focusing on how you can actually utilize this defense against the trips tight end formation. I'm uh, one of the first people to say this year that I think trips tight end is just as good this year as it was last year. I would argue that it may even be a little bit better this year uh, just because of the way the game plays and the pass protection that you can get from it is actually relatively unique. Uh, so that being said, uh, we're going to be utilizing the cover six out of the nickel 335 odd. Now the cover six is my favorite base coverage in the game. Um, I think it's the most versatile defense. It's the defense that you can do the most from. And we're going to show you how you can use utilize it uh, to shut down the majority of what trips tight end players like to accomplish. So what we're going to do uh, with our adjustments here real quick. Well, before we get into that, I do want to let you know that if you want to get the rest of this defense, be sure to sign up for the Patreon membership. By joining the Patreon membership, you get access to every offensive and defensive ebook that I've released so far this season. And any ebook that I will release while your subscription is active, it's just 10 bucks a month to sign up. And we've already got 13 ebooks over there for you so link to that is in the description what we're going to do first is i want to show this to you against really the main reason why i like this uh coverage so much and that is because of this three rec hook defender uh what you're going to notice in this coverage as we go to set this up this three rec hook defender is going to basically make a lot of plays against the tight end so what I like to do as far as a setup goes uh, is sit very simple. We're just going to spread our defensive line. We're going to crash our defensive line up. I'm then going to bring this guy off of the edge. The reason I like to do that is primarily just because it gives the illusion of pressure. So if I ever want to send a five-man blitz, I always have the ability to do that. From that point on, I'm going to click on to Thompson here. I'm typically going to blitz them probably 90% of the time. I'm going to put my user in a blitz against this. And then the most important thing is that I am going to man up this guy right here, Simmons, uh, on somebody. Or what you can easily do is you could use your this right of screen safety and go ahead and man up Thompson. So a couple different options uh, for different situations. But I like to man up Simmons. Uh, and for the purposes of this video, we're just going to man him up on the running backs. I want to show you something uh, that's really special about this defense. So again, if you want to put him on a vertical hook, be my guest too. Um, if you want to use our Simmons, be my guest too. It's fine. Um, but I do want to show this real quick. So what you're going to see here is that this three rec hook defender uh, will typically become a great cross man defender onto that tight end, as you saw right there. And it's very difficult for your, your opponent to be able to move the ball consistently when you have a look like that. That three rec hook defender does a really good job of basically taking that tight end out of the play. And so because of that, it allows us to have some freedom uh, with our user. For example, let's say we get a setup that looks kind of like this. Um, you know, again, setup's the same. We're just going to bring this guy off the edge. We're going to click on to Thompson and blitz him. And then, like I said, you can really do whatever you want with your backside guy. Um, you it, you know, if you want to, if you want to leave the three-man uh, pressure on that right side of the screen, you certainly can do that. And then you could take Jones over here and you could put him in man coverage on somebody if you wanted to do that, you could drop him into a hard flat. There's a lot of different things that you could do with this, okay? Um, the beauty of this cover six, though, is you have a hard, you could kind of play some chess with this hard flat over here on the right. And then, like I said, you could take uh, Simmons and you could put him in something as simple as a curl flat or a seam flat. I find that those are good zones uh, for him or just something as simple as a vertical hook. And the reason why I like those zones is because against this in particular setup, what you're going to see is all you've got to do here is look at, look, at the, look at how good the match is against that crosser. As you can see, it completely bags the crosser going across the middle of the field. So really what you're looking for, and this is why I love to just kind of move this guy down, um, what you have in this situation is now you've got a lot of opportunity that you can, again, freedom for your users. So, um, you know, again, another thing you could do is you could bluff blitz uh, Simmons. The reason I like to do that is because let's say, for example, you're going up against curl flat. This is probably the best way, in my opinion, uh, to consistently guard the running back route. You typically get really, really good coverage on that. Um, it just kind of protects your user in the middle of the field.
field. Now, another way that you could do this is you could base a line and shift your D line uh, to the, or shift your linebacker to the trip side. Now what that's gonna allow you to do is it's gonna allow you to take Thompson right here, and now you can man him up onto Scotty Miller, and then you could basically use her uh, Simmons and now what you've got now is a really, really good advantage to this trip side. And really all you're looking for is does that tight end go to the corner? If the tight end goes to the corner, you're going to take him. But if he does not go to the corner, this is probably one of the best defenses uh, for trip side end in the entire game because that three red cook is still going to bag the tight end post. But now look at, look at how well we defend this deep crosser, which is really a hallmark of trips tight end. Now, uh, last thing that I want to show you in this in particular video is how we can deal with a flooding combination uh, to the trips side of the field. So I'm just going to kind of set up a general uh, flooding concept. Again, we're just going to bring this guy off the edge here. And then what you've got now is, again, you've got your guy right over here. Now, one of my favorite things to do is to actually man him up on the outside receiver because it's going to basically tell the game that he's in man coverage on the outside receiver which is very advantageous for this defense um the other thing that you could do again is you could vertical hook this backside guy simmons you could um you know move this guy here like so and then you could bring this guy back and user him if you want to those are all options uh but what i want to show real quick is i just want to show how this does against the flooding combination so for the most part uh, you're going to see that this flooding combination uh, is going to get bagged to the sideline, as you see right there. Now, that's a real tight window to be able to hit that. And like I said in the beginning of the video, though, if you were to take this guy, for example, um, and you were to man up Thompson onto Scotty Miller, and then you just kind of shift your, deep, your, your linebackers over like this, what you're going to get now is uh, the ability now for this cross man and you'll see how good this cross man really is uh, against a corner route so what it does is it really hinders their ability to run flooding combinations to the trip side and then you've got a ton of freedom with your user if you were to watch that back you're going to see that pretty much everything is bagged and the way that the game works this year corner routes don't beat man coverage as much as they have in the past years and so that kind of adjustment right there is going to significantly help you. You know, another thing that you could do out of this is you could man up Williams. Uh, you could then bluff blitz the guy on the on the right there or on the left and do a three rec hook defender. And then you could take this backside guy, uh, Simmons, and you could man him up on the tight end if you wanted to. Um, and again, this is just another way in which we can use this to really put that route right there in particular in a bad position, which is one of the main routes that people are going to use to get everything else open in this formation. And so, you know, to me, this is really my favorite way to combat trips tight end. For the most part, you've got really, really good coverage. Uh, for the most part, you've got really good opportunity for your user uh, to be able to kind of just sit in such certain situations, uh, put yourself in a good spot to be able to win uh, with this. And again, you'll see here that this three red hook to the left of screen Look at that. Look at how it bags the tight end. So it opens up a ton of possibilities for how you're going to defend this. I would just encourage you, you know, the beauty of this right here is this is the ability to, uh, for us to be able to send pressure. If we want to send pressure, we just simply send that right there. And now what we've got here, you'll see a five-man rush where we're going to get crazy fast pressure. If they send five out, we've got great pressure. But then we can drop um, those other guys back into coverage if we aren't going to send pressure. Like in this example right here, now you've got a three wreck, and you could put a linebacker over on that side out of three, three, five watt or odd and be just fine. But now you've got a three-man rush where occasionally we'll get a we'll get some pressure in off that off that right side. But we've also got incredible coverage uh, for situations like what you're about to see where this tight end post comes because to be the tight end post one of the hardest routes to guard and you see how good this three red hook defender does and that's chandler jones right it's going to be much better if that's ted hendrick so anyways guys that is a quick little coverage defense that you can utilize that really slows down a lot of what the trips tight end offense likes to do i think the cover six is probably my favorite coverage of the year it just has so many things that you can do from so many different looks and it really does adapt well to some of the best offenses in the game so thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure to hit the like button also if you want to learn more about the nickel 335 odd i'd encourage you to join my patreon membership by joining the patreon membership you get access to every single ebook that i have released and every ebook that i will release 
release while your subscription is active for just 10 bucks a month. For just 10 bucks a month, you get basically access to everything. Over 13 eBooks, several tip videos, pro player breakdowns, and really all kinds of updates that we do pretty much every week. So thanks for watching the video. And again, if you want to join the Patreon, there's a link down in the description below. So head on down to the description and check out that Patreon membership.